noble, stalwart, defender of the realm, known as the Knight, is a versatile melee bruiser. Does your opponent have amazing skills dependent on their equipment? Then break that equipment! With parry, shields, and a cloak, you will be blocking more than Hakeem Olajuwon. Hi, I'm Mikey from Final Fantasy Tactics Live Tournament, and today I have another episode in the Jom Focus series. The goal of these videos is to crack open the hood on each class, present technical information in a simplified way, and help you make better choices when raising your squad. In today's job focus, we're going to do a deep dive into the Knight class, looking at their equipment choices, how their abilities work, and touch on how to manage their stats. So whether you want to create that perfect bruiser or tank for your PvP roster, or you want to raise a versatile fighter ready for any story battle, Gather your gear and gather round for a night job focus session. Laden with heavy armor and able to wield massive knight swords, the night job is equipped for close combat and will be a difficult boulder to displace on the battlefield when equipped with a shield and a cape. Knights come with the ability to destroy a target's equipment and lower their stats all in efforts to decrease the enemy's battle effectiveness. Their Arts of War skill set is especially useful as a secondary ability when paired with ranged weapons, like an archer or a chemist equipped with a gun. As one of the first classes unlocked in the game, the knight proves to be a reliable job throughout your progression and will find themselves useful in nearly every battle. All you will need to unlock a knight is a level 2 squire. That's it. It takes a brave soul to be defiant in the face of impending doom and approach conflict head on. Your knight's bravery stat affects how powerful your knight's sword attacks are. Knight swords factor in not only your physical attack stat with your weapon power, as normal swords do, but your bravery as well. Also like regular swords, knight swords are striking weapons, so can only attack two height upwards and three height downwards. If you want to boost to your HP, Throw on a suit of heavy armor. If you would like some additional MP for mana shield perhaps, maybe some status ailment defenses, robes are also available to you. And what would a good tank be without a shield? And being the good tanks they are, knights can equip shields by default. Just remember that shield evasion is zero when being struck from behind, so watch your back. Only cape accessories will save those with exposed backs. So if you are going solo, you may want to consider a cloak of some kind to avoid an ambush. Arts of War skills that rend the enemy's equipment or stats have varying degrees of success per ability. Your physical attack stat and your knight's equipped weapon power factor into the success rate of equipment break abilities. Stat break abilities have the same success rate and only your physical attack stat goes into the formula. So regardless of what you are trying to break, the higher your physical attack, the more likely you will succeed. Do note that the target's evasion is taken as a consideration, so attacking enemies with high evasion rates is a waste of time. Also the chemist's passive ability safeguard renders equipment breaking completely useless as it prevents equipment from being destroyed at all. Parry is a reaction ability that adds your weapon's evade percentage to the physical evasion formulas after factoring in your class evasion, shield evasion, and accessory evasion. And if you consider how few weapons have high evasion rates and there are superior skills like reflexes available, parry is an ability that quickly grows obsolete as you advance. The knight's passive abilities allow you to carry over their tanky equipment choices to other jobs, equip heavy armor, equip shields, and equip swords. The latter finds great use for melee classes like thieves and ninjas, and is necessary if you wish to use dark knight abilities as a job other than a dark knight. Looking at the knight's movement, jump, and class evasion speaks to a character who is slow and purposeful. A standard three move, three jump paired with 10% class evasion doesn't scream nimble and light. When we look at the class stats, now that's another story. 
Switching your job to a knight grants you a 20% bonus to your HP and physical attack, though you suffer 80% penalty to your MP and magic attack. Growing a character as a knight gives you amazing HP and physical attack growth. Some of the best in the game. This means keeping a character as a knight from the get-go will give you a seriously beefy melee powerhouse by the time they reach higher levels. An introductory class that sometimes gets left behind during the progress from more advanced classes, the knight has a place in your squad's battle line as an immovable melee bruiser and disruptor. High bravery, in addition to higher physical attack and weapon power, mean higher damage from your knight swords. So boost that bravery! Increasing your physical attack and equipping more powerful weapons will raise your chances of breaking your target's equipment. But try to swing at targets with lower evasion and targets without safeguard equipped. Equipped swords and equipped shields are excellent passive abilities to learn for carrying over to other job classes, as is Arts of War for ranged characters' secondary abilities. Knights have some of the best HP and physical attack stack growth in the game and are excellent choices to level your melee fighters as. This concludes this episode of the Job Focus series with The Knight. Shout out to user Alfredo Serpa on YouTube for suggesting The Knight and Summoner for the next Job Focus candidates. Apologies for the pronunciation, but thank you for watching and commenting. It is awesome to see engagement with other players. Another shout out to user Sadiq Sumosi, who definitely wants more and suggests a calculator in an upcoming video. And thank you for the great suggestion. So happy you enjoy the content and plenty more is on the way, so stay tuned. For everyone else, let me know how you like the presentation on the night in the comments. If you have a suggestion for what you would like to see next, now is your chance to let me know as there are only so many jobs. And if you did enjoy the video, please throw out a like. If you really liked, hit subscribe and the notification icon as there will be more of these job focused videos, more tutorials, and actual PvP matches with custom exciting rosters made by you in the community. Every little bit helps a lot in spreading the passion for this amazing game to more players, which will hopefully get more conversations going and more games played with each other. This is Mikey from Final Fantasy Tactics Live Tournament signing off. I will see you in the next video. And until then, be well everyone.